Hello and welcome to another installment of our FAQ series. Today, I'll tell you how to pair some of our devices, how to tell which generation PJ40 and PS5 you have, and how to install some firmware on your N60. As always, please feel free to use the timestamps below to jump to your question. How do I set up speakers with my projector? There are three ways that you can set up speakers using a projector, and the easiest way is gonna be through Bluetooth. You can connect a Bluetooth speaker by going to the settings, opening Bluetooth, and selecting pair a Bluetooth device. You can do this on any Nexigo projector except for the PJ06, which does not have Bluetooth connectivity. Note that this feature is designed for audio equipment, so you might have some trouble pairing other kinds of Bluetooth devices. You can also hook up speakers using a 3.5 millimeter jack. This method is available on all our projectors, and it's by far the most popular and accessible way of connecting speakers. But it won't get you the best sound quality. For improved sound, use a speaker setup that supports HDMI ARC or eARC. The PJ40 supports ARC, and the Aurora Pro, PJ80, Nova Mini, and TriVision Ultra support eARC. Both offer dramatic improvement to the 3.5 millimeter audio, but eARC takes it a step further with lossless quality. In order to take advantage of this feature, you'll need some sort of audio device. This might be a soundbar or a device such as an amplifier or preamp that can split the sound between multiple speakers. To set up ARC, plug your audio device into the HDMI 1 port on your projector. Then go to settings, open audio, and then set sound output source or audio output to HDMI ARC or HDMI eARC. For soundbars compatible with HDMI ARC, scroll down and switch ARC to ON. Now, audio from your streaming devices will be sent to your ARC or eARC speakers with the highest possible quality. Which devices can the NS32 controller connect to? The NS32 is compatible with the Switch, Switch Lite, and Switch OLED, but not everyone realizes that it's also compatible with devices such as computers, tablets, or cell phones. Today, I'll walk you through how to set each of those up. To connect your NS32 to a computer, the easiest way is to plug it in using the USB port. Once you've done this, your controller will be paired and you will be able to use it wirelessly as well. If you want to forego the cable connection altogether, you can also go to your Bluetooth settings and choose the NS32 from the list of available devices. It may also be called something like Pro Controller, Gamepad, or Nexigo NS32. To pair your controller with an Android device such as a tablet or smartphone, you'll first want to power on your device and enable Bluetooth connectivity. Next, simultaneously press and hold the Home and X buttons on the controller until it appears on the list of available devices. It will be named Controller, Gamepad, or something similar. Select it from the list and you're ready to play. To pair your controller with an iPad or iPhone, first enable Bluetooth on your device. Then, simultaneously press and hold the Home and B buttons on the controller until Xbox Wireless Controller appears on the list of available devices. Select it from the list and you're all set! The player indicator LEDs on the controller will flash, indicating that the pairing was successful. While we do our best to make our products as versatile as possible, not every device is created equally. The NS32 is not compatible with everything, and at this time, the controller is not compatible with Xbox or PlayStation consoles. How do I know which generation of PS5 I have? About a year ago, Sony started selling a slimmer version of the PS5 and discontinued the old variant in the process. Since both models are the same cost, we've noticed some confusion while advising our customers on which accessories to purchase. Luckily, you can tell at a glance which type of PS5 you have. The PS5 Slim has a diagonal black line running along both sides of the console, while the original PS5 is plain. And the PS5 Pro has an extra wide line with three vents. If you've recently purchased your console, it's most likely a PS5 Slim or a PS5 Pro. When purchasing accessories for your PS5, pay close attention to which accessories are compatible with your console. Some accessories, like our wall mounts and controller charging docks, are compatible with all PS5s, while our vertical cooling stands are only compatible with the PS5 and the PS5 Slim. Once you're on the product page for the PS5 accessory you'd like to purchase, make sure to select PS5 Gen 1 if you have the original PS5 and PS5 Slim if you have the new one. As of November 2024, we do not have any accessories for the PS5 Pro. How do I know which generation of PJ40 I have? The generation two and three PJ40s look identical side by side, but once you turn them on, you'll notice a slight difference. The Gen 3 PJ40s come with an upgraded light source, which has a white balance pre-calibrated to D65. 
This is shorthand for 6500K, also known as daylight. D65 calibration creates neutral colors that look authentic compared to the colors you see in broad daylight. To determine which generation of PJ40 you have, check the serial number. You can find it on the bottom of your projector. If there's an E in the serial number, you have a third generation PJ40. If there's no E, you have a second generation. If you have the older PJ40, don't worry, there's no need to replace it to get D65 color calibration. You can always adjust the white balance manually in settings. How do I update the N60 firmware? Not everyone needs to update the firmware on their N60, but if you're experiencing significant lag, you can contact our customer service at cs at nextogo.com to receive a firmware download link. Customer support will send you the links to two files, the update file and the USB tool that you need to install the firmware. Please download the files from both links. Download the entire USB tool folder, including the .exe and the .ini file. Download the .img update file and save it to the same folder as the USB tool. After everything has been downloaded, double click on the USB tool.exe. Click select file and select the .img update file. Click update. Once the field below populates and you see upgrade success at the bottom, you can exit out of the installer. If you're still experiencing lag even after installing the firmware update, check out this previous FAQ video for an easy fix. Thanks for watching. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below or email us at cs at We might just include them in the next FAQ video. We'll see you next time.